Hi, welcome to the session on CMA part 2. In this session, we'll discuss about uh, a new section. A new section that is uh, strategic financial management investment decisions. Investment decisions or capital budgeting techniques. So we'll discuss uh, this entire section into two parts. One is investment decisions, where you find that the basics of investments, the terms what we use in investment decisions, the basic calculations. And in the next session, we'll discuss about uh, the capital budgeting techniques capital budgeting techniques which are used to you know uh, study the projects which project is worth uh, being investing in which project will give us the profits what we expect followed by we'll discuss about uh, the risk in the projects various risks in the projects and the options what we have against the risk in the projects. Capital budgeting, investment decisions. Yeah. So what is capital budgeting here? You need some money to accept any project. Let's take an example here. Our manufacturing process is carried out in a rented building, rented factory building. Yeah, we are paying rent of say $100,000 a month, $1.2 million a year. Now we are thinking that we have empty land, we own empty land. Okay, should we go for construction of our own factory building? Okay, if we say yes, it will require an investment of $10 million. Okay, this $10 million you will be borrowing from a bank, say for example, at the rate of 10% interest per year. So you see that uh, what are the benefits of having our own building, which we can con construct on a land which we own or we should use this rental building, okay? Not investing $10 million. Capital budgeting decision. So you need to work on the rental expenses, work on the cost of construction of this new factory building, the benefits, the advantages, the risks, the limitations and come to a conclusion that whether we should construct our own factory building to run our facilities production process in the uh, building our own building or should we continue the production process in the existing premises capital budgeting capital budgeting investment analysis so in a capital budgeting process what we do is we evaluate and select the long-term investments long-term investment it's not a short-term investment we are not going to buy some office stationery and uh, before we buy we evaluate is it worth of buying or not no long-term investments where we get benefits in the future years three years, five years, 10 years, 20 years. The goal is to maximize the wealth. So we evaluate the long-term investments before we really invest, whether it is going to create some wealth to the organization or not. This is called capital budgeting. So we develop various long-term investment 
plants we evaluate them okay and we see that which project is worth being invested and we start investing on it which is going to give us a benefits so when you say capital budgeting is an investment on a long term investment which is going to give benefit uh, in a long term period like 5 years 10 years 20 years it is called capital expenditure so the payments from your company any payment which you pay can either become a an operating expense we call it as opex it can be a capex capital expenditure any payment which you make from your business either will become opex or capex for example you buy a stationery stationery so the benefit what you are getting from this is a year or less okay a year or less less than one year so we call it as operating expenditure and we expense it it should go to income statement and it will become what expense that is called operating expenditure salaries printing stationery advertisements utility bills repairs maintenance insurance these are all operating expenses whatever you see in your profit and loss account the income statement they are called they are called operating expenses they are charged to the income statement in the current year whereas capex say for example you purchased a machinery okay you purchased a building you purchased a vehicle all right to create additional facilities say machinery so this mission life is say for example 5 years so the benefit what you are going to receive is say 5 years right this is called capex capital expenditure and you will record it as what asset it is to be shown on our balance sheet so this is the difference between opex and capex all right so a payment may become operating expenditure or a capital expenditure depending upon the benefit which you receive in the during the life of that payment or asset now what made you to spend money on this capital expenditure we are going to buy some machinery building land vehicles which are going to give a benefit more than a year yeah we call it as what capital expenditure like say for example we are investing in a capex plant expansion we have three plants now we are getting so many orders not able to match our production with the orders what we receive from customers we want to expand our production facilities for this we need to purchase some plants new plant expansion of the plant we have a machinery worth 5 million dollar but purchased 3 years ago we have advanced machinery available in the market so we want to sell this off and purchase a new one which will give additional production all right so whether we should go for equipment replacement we have you know purchase some licenses franchise yeah so we should renew it which will require huge amount for the next 5 years and we are launching a new product which requires lots of money up front research and development designing initial marketing we need huge amount should we launch this new product any other purposes like we want to expand our operations globally 
so we want to start some foreign operations which require huge amounts these are the few key motives why companies you know make capex now when you decide that let's go for it what are the steps that you should follow first thing is like you generate a proposal yeah like say for example we want to expand our market share so we want to have an existence in at least three countries yeah so what amount is required to get licenses in this, those countries the legal formalities acquiring some office space factory etc proposal generation then start reviewing it that how much money is required and what benefits financial benefits we are going to get analysis the second step is what review and analysis of the proposal which you generated then the next step is make a decision that how much money is required what is the cost of that money what you are going to put in this proposal then what benefits you are going to get if it is really worth in your step 3 if you say s yes, start implementing means what gather capital arrange money start investing in the project and the next one is what don't just leave the project the moment you invest money into this project we should have some kind of post audit post implementation audit is this project really giving us benefits as we expected so we need to monitor that year by year year by year if the project's life is say for example 10 years during this 10 years we are getting the profits as we expected or not so we need to have a follow up monitoring post audit okay so in this capital budgeting process the second and third steps are very very second and third these two steps are very very important and in fact uh, this is what our topic is so we'll review we analyze a project which is going to be implemented or not we take a decision so our focus is going to be on step 3 step 2 and step 3 now once you invest this money if the project is really doing well okay after you know following all the you know processes you need to conduct a conduct a what analysis post audit check from you know year to year that whether really it is giving us the benefit what we expected it is simply a feedback on the performance of the project what you invested All right so you need to calculate the amount of profit what you are getting each year calculate the amount of cash flow what you are generating from the project and see with the budgeted profits budgeted cash flows say for example your project life is 5 years okay 5 years in year 0 means what during the process during the analysis we call it as year 0 beginning of the year then year 1 what is projected what is projected and what is the actual you have any difference which you call it as variance so you will be comparing the actual amounts what you receive with the projected and see that whether there is any difference called variance so year by year year by year you see the performance of the investment so that you can make some corrections from time to time are you a finance professional or an accounting student but not so sure of your career options how about cpa cma cfa certifications 
You'll be intrigued to know that the big four and multinational companies pay a handsome salary package to fresher with CPA, CMA, CFA, certifications, and of course that's just the starting point. Let's Learn Global brings you biggest video lecture collection with 100 plus hours of video courses. CPA, CMA, CFA, video lectures, and notes which are perfect supplement to your certification journey. Certification Video Lectures is a series of video lectures to completely understand major certification from beginner to advanced level. The course is designed with the purpose of learning popular certifications in a series of video lectures. It contains a list of all popular certifications that are essential for a better future and career growth. By learning these popular video lectures one can easily clear certification exams, which provide skills that are highly demandable in the market. Sharpen your skills with our Academy app and you will get free courses on CPA, CMA, CFA. To get our course download Class Plus app. Android users can download our app from Google Play Store. iOS users can download our app from Apple App Store and use our organization code Enrich to get our free courses. The course contains highly interactive video lectures with best in the industry features some are listed below. Comprehensive videos. 50 plus video lectures per subject. Practice exams. Desktop, laptop, mobile and tab friendly. Instructor support. Access anywhere. HD video lessons. No more long and boring video classes. Our lectures are crisp, precise, and to the point. Hurry, download our app today and get recognized globally with Let's Learn Global. For any assistance you can WhatsApp or call at 0091800800311.